Hi, this is Michelle, the massage therapist. I'm going to show you some self-massage techniques for the feet today. So let's get down on the floor, on a mat, or if you want to do it on your couch or a chair or wherever's comfortable. Okay, so with the feet, you've got a lot of muscles um, around the bones of the foot and up the leg. So the calf muscles actually come down each side in and out and hook in front of the heel like a stirrup pant, if you remember those. And often when you have plantar fasciitis or any sort of heel pain that is indicating the start of that, it's this tendons and ligaments at the bottom of the foot can get tight, but also that band from the outside affects it. So you wanna kinda of get around the outside muscles here, right above the ankle bone. You can feel that ligament right up from the ankle bone. It starts into muscle belly about three, four inches up. So if you want, you can just make circles with your hand or your thumb, but you wanna be careful about overdoing the pressure. If you have um, a nice smooth rock or one of those wooden balls on the stick massage tools, you can use that. If you do it from this angle, you can use your fingertips back and forth. I'm above the ankle bone and just moving my hands back and forth over those ropey muscles in the outside of the calf that are called the peroneals. Okay, so you can see I'm going, you can do both at the same time and that brings the muscle and the fascia towards the shin bone here. That helps relieve and give some space to those tightness, those tense areas. And going across that cross fiber friction all the way up, now, all the way up to the bone here right underneath your knee and the outside. That's the head of the fibula. That's the outside bone here of your calf. And actually right at the top of that, your IT band, which you may know of, goes all the way up to your hip. So this is one long fascial piece. And when I say that, it's like a big saran wrap that comes all the way up the side and the leg. But getting this lower leg is real key to loosening up the foot. Now, all the bones in the forefoot here have a row of small kind of cubi cubi cub cuboid bones. There's actually one called the cuboid. Um, and so anything you can do to kind of move those and break them up. So I like to just take that outside of your foot and resting it on my other leg. And just, just gently pressing in at the center of the foot, lined up and just moving inside and outside, back and forth. Slide this a little bit. Okay. So moving back and forth, I can put my thumbs underneath the ball of the foot at the same time, and I'm really getting some motion here. We just wanna loosen all that up. Feet can get stiff and tight. So just get it moving. And I'm almost doing a bit of a figure eight here where I pull the big toe towards me and the pinky toe area out and then back the other way. But again, it's important for you to be aware of your body and feel it yourself. So if you feel that you wanna pull it and stretch it towards yourself to stretch that dorsal section, the top of the foot into the front of the leg, do it. If it feels like you wanna stretch this way and bring those toes back, that'll stretch the ball and the arch so I've got my hand here on the outside of the big toe. My index finger is not just on the toes, but actually at the ball of the foot. So I have the entire ball of the foot and I'm pulling my toes back into a 90 degree angle this way. And just hang out with that. Feel it stretch. Okay. Now, thumbs in the inside of the arch are great. I'm going to see if I can't get another angle here. Okay, so pressing a thumb right inside the inner arch and then one next to it. And press 
press and as I press and pull a little it, towards your own hand so one goes one direction one goes the other direction and again you're getting that cross movement on the tissue and just moving up and down again if your hands don't feel strong or they feel um, achy in the joints naturally you can use um, a massage tool I, you know those little th three pieces of wood with the balls and the big ball on the top kind of come to mind you could press in with that you could also just use like I said a smooth rock or um, oh uh, those balls you could use a tennis ball or those little spiky balls that you get for foot acupressure those are great too but yeah if you can get into the arch of the foot now I'm moving slightly more in the center of the foot now that I've done the inside up and down a few times of the arch and just pulling thumb by thumb up and down now I'm going to move a little more to the outside and that's a little harder to reach for me my hands are small so I'm going to just use my my full hand here on the heel thumb on the inside and fingers on the outside this is the opposite hand of my foot and I'm just squeezing and pulling in good okay and then again you can take your fingers on the top of the outside so I'm at the pinky toe up to the one next to it and I'm just again pressing in and pulling towards me getting motion getting circulation softening up that hard tightness of the tissue the muscles and the ligaments in there oh, good and then just a little bit of just rotating the foot I'm holding the heel and just grabbing a hold of the top of my foot and making it go in a circle okay and then if I press my thumb under the ball and go in the circle and then pull my toes down to stretch when I come to this inner part of the circle I get even more motion and release in the fascial tissue connective tissue that holds things together range of motion so I'm feeling the stretch here as I come around I'm feeling it here Again, pressing along the inside of the arch. You can use lotion or oil if you want. I'm not with this demonstration. I'm pushing the tissue straight inside, middle, and the outside. Another great thing, um, you can take the toes just under, I like to have my hand underneath the top part, put my thumb on the bottom and just make a circle and you can do that three or four circles on each toe brings a little circulation all the way down the toes you should be able to feel that increasing the blood flow and then it's really great to stretch them apart so you can grab a hold again of that the ball of the foot in the center just above it and just kind of gently stretch the big toe and the pinky toe is apart. You can interlace your fingers with your toes. It might take a little doing, but it's a great way to stretch and open up the foot and the bones of the toes. So I'm just interlaced and I'm just stretching down and back up, bending them a little bit, just gently. Make a circle again if you like. Move a little back and forth, a little figure eight action. And then you can even just grab a hold of the toe and pull away from your foot to give a little stretch. Okay, both thumbs together in the center all the way up. When you get to the ball of the foot, split off, big toe and pinky, and press that open. Good. If you have your hands, fingertips towards each other, right between the second and third toes, and grab your thumb pads over and just kind of go opposite of the curve. It's actually 
was taught this in massage school for the hands as well as the feet called breaking the popsicle. If you imagine, remember those two stick popsicles and just breaking them apart. So you're grabbing and just opening up that tightness. All right, I wanna show you a couple of stretches you can do while you're standing as well. When you're standing, um, if you're on a step, which I don't have handy, but if you um, stand with your balls of your feet on the step and your heels hanging off, it's a great stretch for the back of your thought, back of your calves, and going up on your toes, on the balls of your feet, just gently going up. It's good for balance. You do one at a time. So this way, I have the, the toes. If you point your toes and stretch, you can actually get a cramp in your calf. We don't want to do that. But if with your toes forward, and you can push your legs, so you're getting this front stretch. And if it doesn't feel like it wants to cramp, you can actually put the toes on the floor and stretch the front even more. If you feel a little cramp, just bring it down back up on the ball of the foot. Okay, of course we'll do the other foot. It looks like this from the front. If you do the toes, and then if you do the outer toes, a little bit of an inward foot, you'll get the outside of the foot into the calf and the base of those peroneal muscles I mentioned, those outside calf muscles. And I don't have a step, but if, if this rug, if you can see if this rug was a step, you would hang off with your heels and the weight of your body, letting your calves do the stretch. Um, there's some other stretches I could show, but I think that's enough for today. I mostly wanted to focus on doing a little self-massage on the feet. And don't forget the outside of the calf. That's key for uh, tightness in the foot. And I hope you're staying well and um, doing uh, good and I hope to see you soon.